my friends, we are getting ready to head out on our most epic adventure of this year, our Canada trip. Well, we finally made it just the other side of Waco. <clears throat> yeah, it just takes forever to get out of Texas when you're leaving from the Houston area. I thought we'd give you a little view of the sunset we're seeing here tonight. We're stopping at Denton tonight. Here's our stop for the night. Uh, Denton, Texas. We're uh, spending the night here at Travel America. Sleeping in the campers in the parking lot. Get up and hit the road in the morning. Well, good morning, friends. It's 5.30 in the morning. We're back on the road. It'll be a long day today. Just left Denton. Just left Denton. At a pretty little truck stop. So we'll keep y'all informed. Stay tuned. Good morning from Oklahoma. Friday morning, June 14th. Here we are, OKC. Almost like I never left Houston. All this dead gum traffic. It's 7.44 in the morning and we're trying to get through town. Hi. What? Just getting a side shot, baby. Oh. We are just passing Kansas. We're okay. We are going into Kansas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's amazing how living in Texas, we can go through one state within a matter of hours. It's awesome. Yep, we're still in Kansas. And we're crossing into Nebraska. You ain't in Kansas anymore, Toto. So we pulled into this little campground for the night, just an overnight stay. Right off the interstate over there. And we'll get back on the road and head on up to Canada via a stop at the Strategic Air Command Museum. But it's Pine Grove RV Park, just off the interstate. And here we are, there's Mongo. And there's our camper right there behind it. We're not set up completely because we're just here for the night and we're going to pick up and go in the morning. And there's Motor Goat in his truck this time with his camper. This is not an off-road or overlanding trip. We are just going to see Canada and the sights in Canada and uh, see what we can figure out about Mongo. Engine light, check engine light came on right before we got here. So I'm going to reset it and we'll see what happens going down the road. Say hi to y'all. Hi. What's up, yo? We'll see you in the morning. Saturday the 15th at 3.30 in the morning. Listen closely. Yep. It's raining pretty good out there. Trailer's shaking a little bit too. Our first weather of the trip. Yeah, we had a little storm come in last night. 3 o'clock. We survived it. Wind was shaking the trailer around quite a bit, but uh, we made it. Uh, probably won't cook breakfast here this morning like we planned, so we're going to try to find a place to eat here this morning and get some coffee. And next uh, stop will be the Strategic Air Museum. Ought to be fun. We parked in this little parking lot here this morning. <clears throat> We stopped in a little town called Ashland, just outside where our campsite was. And we're going to have our breakfast at a place up here called Cherries, or Cherries. I don't quite remember which. So there's the restaurant. We'll take a few pictures when we get inside.
So we uh, finished up our breakfast, which was very good. I had very biscuits good. and gravy and uh, fried eggs over medium with hash brown and toast. And you had what? I had a wrap. A breakfast wrap. A, a breakfast wrap. How was it? It was real good. It's good food here. And it's called Cheerios. We're going to walk on down and check out the truck, get in it, and head to the Strategic Air Museum. So here we are at our first stop this morning. The Strategic Air Command and Aerospace Museum, just outside of Ashland, Nebraska. It's already very cool. This is the Blue Scout launch vehicle. Side. And we're starting off with a SR-71 Blackbird here. We got a bonus today. There's a car show inside the building, so we get to vote on our best-in-class car show. Katrina and Teresa are going to try their hand at this flight simulator. You girls ready for this? I think so. Uh oh, there they go. They're in trouble now. They're, got to. They're moving. She's always turning to the left. Trying to turn. <laughs> Not so sure on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They weren't too thrilled when I told them the hell they had to do it. <laughs> In the water! In the water! Oh! Hold the nose up! Pull back! Pull back! Not that much! <laughs> You're in a death spiral now. Oh! Well, was that what you expected? Well, no. <laughs> no. You okay? As I mentioned before, there was a car show going on the same day we got here. And uh, this series of pictures is just a small example of all the cars that were here at the Strategic Air Museum. Well, that was pretty neat to go in there. Wish we could have a lot more time to spend there. 
But as it, as it is, we spent uh, two and a half, almost two hours, 45 minutes or so here. So <clears throat> I don't think I rushed too much. Got a bonus of the car show being there. Uh, there'll be a lot more pictures, a lot more video um, of this stop in a separate video. I mean, I had so much going on in here. I just don't want to make this too long. So um, I'll be doing a separate video on the Strategic Air Museum. But for now, we're getting ready to hit the road and move on up to try to get to Twin Forks, North Dakota. I think it's North Dakota tonight. And tomorrow we should be crossing into Canadian border. Mormon Bridge, Missouri River. Countryside. We are now in South Dakota. Staying on the straight and narrow. South Dakota area with rolling hills. After hills, after hills, after hills. Hillsboro, North Dakota. Making time. Well, good morning, everyone. Morning. We're supposed to be on the road at this time, but uh, the weather we weren't expecting has got us hanging out in the camper for a little bit. As soon as it stops, we'll be going. We got our Bucky's t-shirts on. Yep. So when we cross Representing the border. Representing the crossing border today. <laughs> Minnesota. Well, well, the Minnesota it was, and I got it. Woohoo! So now we're in Minnesota. Finally got out of rain, got us some blue skies. Gonna be a wonderful day. Huh, babe? Yeah, baby. Coming into the town of Rugby, North Dakota, known as the Geographical Center of North America. And here we are. This is the Geographical Center of North America, Rugby, North Dakota. side stop we're gonna come see a giant turtle toidle it's a toidle a toidle we're gonna see a toidle in North Dakota and it's made out of hubcaps oh is it or wheels excuse me not hubcaps wheels rims rims that too well here it is folks the wheel turtle yep big old turtle made out of wheels. Nine eleven Memorial Stop in the Beast Gardens. Here we go. And here it is. These are some of the actual steel girders from the towers.
I'm adding these pictures of a couple of plaques and you can pause the video if you uh, want to read them. This is the Peace Garden Clock. Canada. Man, we're really flying now. 95. Hey, a break from the wind. Woohoo! <laughs> this wind is. Look at the tops of these trees. They're just bowed over. It's just nuts. It's got to be a 56 mile an hour wind out here. Oh yeah, gale force winds yeah, easy. Yeah. Looks like we got a little dust storm up ahead. I can't hear you with all that wind. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, it's just nuts. I feel sorry for the guys on the motorcycles I've been seeing. We're trying to skirt. Hopefully, we don't end up right in it. We are in Edson, Canada. I have to say, the one nice thing about Canada is all their rest stops, they have bathrooms. And they're decent. We're getting some nicer terrain than across the plains of Canada. With 95 mile an hour winds. Yeah. I would say going in, we went in uh, through the Peace Gardens. Yep. Yeah. And, uh, from there to now, it's like driving through Kansas and Nebraska. Several times. Several times. But we did hear that it is going to, I think it was like 30% chance of snowing tomorrow. So, we'll see. We've been on the road for physically driving on the road for 43 and a half hours now. Finally, almost, we're about an hour away from Jasper, which will be there in a few days. So, yeah, it'd be good to sit back and relax and just take in the sights for a while. That is cool. I would say our first real mountain. Yeah, yeah since we got up here, yeah. Since we got up here. We'll get to see more heading home because we're going down inside. But yeah. It's part of the Rockies, Canadian Rockies, I believe. Rain, this is pretty. Right. <laughs> 
finally made it. We're at uh, in Jasper at Wilderness Campgrounds. Um, it's a regular campground, but there is no water in the sites and there is no electricity in the sites. You can set up your RVs, but they need to have their own stuff. Um, there's water available we can go up and get, put in buckets if we need it, but we brought water. And uh, the trailer can power itself. I'm going to set the solar panels up. Um, yeah, there's, there's our, we're working on getting things together. My solar panel's down there by the tire. And uh, there's Mongo. And the trailer. And this is what's around our campsite. And when we get out and walk out of our trailer in the morning, that's our view. Ah. Well, friends, this pretty much sums up our uh, multi-day trip to get to Jasper National Park. So uh, this will end part one, and part two will be following in a couple weeks or so. Uh, please stay tuned. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like our content, hit the like button, subscribe, and then click that bell to get notifications of new videos.